Alright, hey, what's up everybody? This is the next one see here, and today we'll be doing the Halo 2 Anniversary Blast Hacker Chima Guide. Whatever. Uh, hold on, let me turn volume down. Do not want that echoing. Last time I did a Chima Guide, I did that. Okay, so first of all, you know, go to Multiplayer, Custom Gamer, Forge. I prefer Forge, why not? And we'll just go down the line of maps to go to. And make sure to pick the original map, not the one that says Anniversary, otherwise you will not get the achievement. You will find the cans, you just will not get your achievement. Okay, first up is Lockdown. So, first thing you want to do is go to where this, like, weird building is. Go over here. Well, whenever I land. Take out a sniper. Shoot this iceberg. Or, iceberg. Whatever it is. And then aim right up there in a the little crevice. And you can kind of see the silhouette of the can. And I just shot to see if I can like illuminate it to show you, but nope. Whatever. And by the way, the achievement did... I actually got the achievement, but for some reason my notifications weren't working. Okay, next is Zenith. So... Now we got... That just head right over here, pick up another sniper, and get on top of this crate, walk over this little lightish blue-green thing, and not down there, I was looking for, that little platform right there, just look over and you can see it again right there, shoot, green ooze flies out, and this one does show the achievement, so at least that's nice. And I can't read achievements because my preview is so small, but yeah, you, you get the point. There's your achievement for the second one on Zenith. Next up is Stone Town, the remake of Zanzibar. And we go straight into the building near where the gate is. Just head through right here. Go to this place with the blue tarp. Jump on it, whatever. And you'll see the can right there in between the two crates or boxes, whatever those are. And there you go. And my video glitch right there, so you know you didn't get to the Chima Pop. But anyway. Next up is Bloodline, the remake of Coagulation. All you need to do is just go right in between these two trees, and you'll see the can right there, which takes me a minute to aim into it. But there you go. And there's that achievement. I don't even know what half of these say. But yeah, there you go. Got that one. Next up is on Warlord, which is remake of Wizard. I don't remember. Anyway, go over to the yellow base, the yellow team space, and go right over here to the corner, and right in between these rocks is the can. You see it does a blast, and you shoot it. For some reason the green news doesn't come out of that one, but meh, what do you know? Developers are dumb at times. But there you go. Guess that's what they got. Okay, then last but not least is Shrine. I do not know what that's a remake of. But okay, just turn fully around and go to this yellowish base. You'll know it's right if you can see like ruins in the corner over there, like in the background. Like this kind of ruin. Like on top of these two pedestals on the right one, there is again. And I missed the first shot. Because I'm a pro. And there we go. Gemma unlocked for something. For getting that one. And then finally get your final achievement, Blastacular, where you get every single can. So, yay. And, yeah. So, there you go. That is all the cans in Halo 2 Anniversary multiplayer maps. Hope this helped in some freaking way, even though I bet all of you know how they like to get this stuff. Whatever. See you guys next time, so goodbye.